Hello everybody, how are you doing? It's time to sing the hello song and it's me and Bertie today. Are you ready? One, two, three. Hello Michelle, hello Bertie, hello everyone, it's nice to see you here. Can you see Bertie has got a new bow tie, haven't you Bertie? Doesn't he look handsome with his lovely bow tie? He used to always wear a bow tie and then his hair got so long you couldn't see it. So when we had his hair trimmed, we put his new one on for him. You look very proud, don't you Bertie? Go back to sleep. Are you ready to do some singing? I think my songs, if I do this right, should give you a bit of a clue as to what the story is today. So that's why I've chosen to do the song. So are you ready for the first one? Okay, we're gonna do rock, paper, scissors. Okay, one, two, three. Rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors. One, two, three, join with me. Left hand, scissors. Right hand, scissors. Oh, snip, 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 snip. What could we need to snip with a pair of scissors? Oh, I don't know. I've no idea. Do you know what we're going to snip with a pair of scissors, Bertie? No? It says, not my hair, thank you. have had that done already. Let's do the next one and see if we can get another clue. Remember that, though, we've got scissors to snip things. Are you ready? Rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors, one, two, three, join with me. Left hand, paper, right hand, paper. Oh, we're going to go flying because we are birds. Don't know what kind of bird that was. Very strange musical bird. So we've got two clues. Scissors, number one clue. Number two clue is a bird. wonder what kind of bird. Let's do it again and see if we can work it out this time. Very tricky. I might just have to get the book. You ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. One, two, three. Join with me. Left hand, paper again. Right hand paper, but this time you're going to go. It's a type of bird. What kind of bird makes that sound? Yeah, straight to it. It's a duck. So it's a bird that's a duck, and they've got some scissors. That's a strange thing. I just don't know. I'm going to have to look at the book and see if we can work it out. Let's have a look. Ha! Mm -hmm. I did have some thought. Look, today's story is called Sunny's Birthday Prize. So that's the bird, the quack, 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 the duck, and the present. That's why they needed the scissors. You've got to cut the paper so you can wrap the presents. And sometimes, if the paper's been stuck down quite trickily, you need scissors to unwrap too, don't you? Ah, you see, if I thought very hard, I'd have worked it out, wouldn't I? So let's read Sonny's birthday par prize. And he said party then. I wonder if they're going to go on a party. Oh, I hope so. I love a party. I love a birthday party. Definitely. Oh, look, it's very exciting. And there's the beautifully wrapped present with a most enormous bow on the top. And this is a very happy duck. And even got a party hat on. Let's read the words and find out what happens in this book. When Sonny was leaving for playgroup, his friend Katie gave him an invitation to her birthday party on Saturday. Oh, wow, Zaruni, that's exciting. Thank you, said Sonny. Always got a funny voice. I never know what's going to come out, you know. Thank you, he said, because he's a duck. Look, oh, they're very happy. And look, this friend's already got the invitation. Oh, I hope he can go. Oh, it'll be so exciting. Oh, let's find out. And as soon as he got home, Sonny made Katie a card and Gran had already knitted a scarf, which she wrapped up for Katie's present. Oh, I think, I think he's going to go. So he's making a card. Oh, I'm on the card. Look, can you see? It's got a little duck face. And then she's going to have a lovely scarf to keep her duck neck warm. Oh, that would be lovely, wouldn't it? Oh, what a clever Gran you've been able to knit. 
Oh, Billy there. When Saturday came, Sonny was very excited. He eagerly washed his face and brushed his beak, ready for Katie's birthday party. Oh, look, he's having a nice little clean there with uh, some soap suds. Lots of bubbles. That must be his friend. That must be his toy duck that he takes with him. Oh, I hope he's going to be happy. Oh, look, we're there. Mm, we're so exciting. So many, pre look at all these presents. That's lots of presents and all those cards. One, two, three, four, five, and a little one in the middle there. Six cards. Oh, gracious. Oh, seven cards with Sonny's homemade one. Oh, I love a homemade card. There's lots of thought goes into those. At the party, Sonny gave Katie her card and present. Well, oh, they're brilliant, said Katie. And Sonny saw all her wonderful presents and wished that just one was for him. I can imagine that because look at them. She's got so many different kinds of things. I can see a teddy over here and over here looks like it's a big push along truck or train and a big ball. And I don't know what's in there. I think it might be a computer. How very generous. Oh, I think, I think it'd be nice to have an extra present, wouldn't it? They all sat down to a birthday tea. I wonder what ducks have at a birthday tea. Oh, here we go. They ate banana sandwiches. Oh, yum. Jelly and ice cream. Mm. And when Katie blew out the candles on a birthday cake, everyone sang happy birthday. Shall we sing happy birthday to Katie? I think we should. Are you ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Katie. Happy birthday to you. Oh, shall we look at the candles on the cake to work out how old she is? I think this is the cake. Can you count the candles? How many did you count? Shall we check? Let's have a look. One, two, three, four candles. Yeah, four candles. Yeah, just four Candles mean she must be four years old. Oh, what a grown-up duck. Well, after tea, Katie's dad organised party games. They played musical statues. We did that the other day, didn't we, with one of our stories. They played pin the tail on the donkey. Oh, he looks very surprised, that donkey. Look at his eye. No tail. He would be shocked. And they played pass the parcel. That is good fun, isn't it? That's why they needed the scissors. All that extra wrapping wonder who won past the parcel. Everybody's having so much fun. Sonny was sad when he didn't win any of the games. Well, Sonny, you don't win everything. And sometimes you've just got to think that was fun playing the game, wasn't it? You can't win everything, can you? Never mind. Then they played hide and seek. I know you like playing hide and seek. And Katie started counting. Oh, wow. Two, three, coming ready or not? Oh, she's off to go and find them. Can you see any of the ducks? Any on this page? Oh, I can see two ducks on that page. Any on this page? <gasps> two more ducks on that page. Oh, that one's hiding the best. You can only see a foot and a hat. Oh, look, what a good job. Found you, found you. She's good at finding, isn't she? I can see you. Oh, look, and another one down there. What a great game of hide and seek. Wow. It was soon time for the children to go home and Katie had found them all except for Sunny. Where's Sunny? Asked Grandma. Where could Sunny be? Look, she's come to pick him up and there's his favourite toy. Where could he be? He's hiding so well. He could be anywhere. <gasps> wow, he's fantastic at hiding. Well, everyone looked for Sonny while Katie's dad tidied up the kitchen. Oh my goodness. I do hope they find him soon. They're even having to look in the kitchen cupboards, aren't they? <gasps> wow, he's there with a pair of pants on his head. Oh, he's here, shouted Katie's daddy pointing to the washing basket. Ugh, they're not even clean pants on his head. Ugh, yucka rooney. 
Oh, look, but what a great hiding place. He did win a game, didn't he? Sunny won first prize for finding the best ever hiding place. <gasps> well done, Sunny. That's so exciting. I wonder what he's got for his first prize. <gasps> he looks very proud. Can you do the big proud face? <sighs> he's very proud, isn't he? What a clever Sunny. There's no more words, which means it's, you're right, the end. <gasps> That's so exciting. Maybe you could go and do some hide and seek. But make sure if your grown-ups can't find you, you don't stay quiet for too long. Because I know as a grown-up, you can get very worried about your little ones when you can't find them and they're doing a really good hide and seek. When my big daughter was a little girl and she was tiny, we played hide and seek. She hid so well, nobody could find her. She hid under all the coats. Everyone was looking and we got really, really worried because even though we were calling her with a worried voice, she never told us where she was hiding. We got so worried. And finally, we could see a little pair of eyes peeking out from the big, big pile of coats. <gasps> what a relief. So make sure if you're really good at playing hide and seek, you always let your grown-ups know in the end. Otherwise, they get very worried. So maybe you could play it this afternoon. Are you ready? It's time to sing the goodbye song. Are you ready, Bertie? Oh, yes, he's ready. Look at him, raring to go. Good boy, Bertie, raring to go and sing the goodbye song. Yay! Okay, are you ready then? Have you got your watches, Bertie? Where's your watch? Are you wearing, is it under your tail? No. Is it on that paw? No. Is it under there? No. I don't think Bertie's brought his watch, has he? I've got mine, so it's okay. You can use mine. You can share with me. One, two, three. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. You ready, Bertie? Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. <laughs> he didn't like that, did he? Oh, it's time to say goodbye. Time to say goodbye. Time to say goodbye to all our friends. Singing up.